And what you're going to find on this page, same stuff, but this is going to be a little bit harder because it's, it's going to be some word problems with these. So we want to be pretty organized. We want to pick out some keywords. We want to set up um, our equations based upon on the words. So we're still going to be dealing. It says 5-4, day two, what we did the other day. This didn't change. Complementary and supplementary angles. We're just going to expand on that using some words, all right, some word problems. So when we were setting up a word problem, we need to be careful and necessary steps in identifying the variables as well as determining what the question is asking for. So we're going to throw some things down here. There's going to be more that we can talk about. Um, I'm sure I'll forget some. But a lot of times when we're talking about an angle, some of the words or the big word you're going to see is the measure. It starts talking about the measure of an angle that usually corresponds to an angle. If we start using the word degrees, that's the unit for an angle. Those are kind of some keys that we're talking about an angle. These complement, supplement. Normally, if we had gone, done these back-to-back -back days, but if, if we had gotten that homework done, which, I, again, most of us I saw had submitted that last night, we know this means 90 degrees. We know a supplement means 180 degrees. The thing I'm going to ask you to put in here as well is that if we have two angles that are supplementary, not only do they add up to be 180 degrees, but they also deal with the little phrase as a linear pair that we've talked about. So when we see a linear pair, that means we have two angles that are supplementary to each other. More exceeds excess. When we do these little word problems, that generally translates into a plus. So if I have five more dollars than Ahmed, then whatever Ahmed has, I'm going to add five to it. Okay. When we start doing these little word problems, if you see it written as less than or a difference, that generally mathematically translates into the word subtraction. So again, if I have five dollars more than Ahmed, then you would subtract five from me to figure out what Ahmed has. When we see the word products, again, this means multiply. All those we should be pretty good. Quotient is one maybe we're not quite as familiar with. That means divide. And then last but not least, when you see the word is or yields, almost always when we're dealing with these little word problem means equal to. Okay? So let's dive in. Number one, it says an angle is 30 more than two times its complement. We want to find the measure of both angles. So one of the, the key things, whenever you would have been introduced to little algebra word problems, pre-algebra word problems, one of the things you were probably encouraged by your teacher to do is define a variable. So what we have here, notice how we have a complement. <clears throat> and remember not only complement tell us this, but that means we have two angles. The word both also implies that. So what we have or where we're going to define these is our first angle is how I'm going to define one of them. And I'm going to define the other one with the phrase second angle. We don't know either angle, so it doesn't necessarily matter which one is the first. It doesn't matter which one is the second. But I think intuitively it probably makes the most sense to make your first angle X. So now read that first sentence. See if you think of a way we can define the second angle. So if I said we have an angle that is 30 more than 2 times its complement, how could we write that? 30 more than 2 times its complement. Not quite. Let's think of money. Uh, let's say I actually do have a 20 spot in my pocket right now. So let's say I have 20 bucks. All right. And let's say, since Cam said that, so Cam threw out an answer was close, but not quite. So, so let's say, Cam, if I have 20 bucks and you have 30 more than twice 20, do that math in your head when we actually have a numerical value. So if I have 20 bucks, correct. Okay, good. So Cam says he has 70. 
So now tell me your thought process there. How did you go from 20 to 70? Good. So you did 20 times 2. Good. Perfect. So this was his thought process. Ah. This was his thought process, and that's the exact same thought process we're going to do when we have a variable. But instead of me giving you 20, what I gave you is x. So can't we really, if 20 is our x in this case, shouldn't it just be this now? 20 times however much I have plus an additional 30. So that's how we can define, if I can get my pen to work, that second angle. All right, make sense now? Yeah. All right, good. So that's how we can define them. Now we want to deal with this idea that these are complements of each other. So complementary, that we now have just done recently. Complements mean their sum is 90 degrees. So this is what we have been doing now. So this I would hope we can be pretty good at. That means when we add those together, so the x plus the 2x plus 30, they both together add up to give us 90 degrees. From there, we should be ready to crank this out. So combine your like terms. We have 3x plus 30 equals 90. Subtract 30 from both sides. x is going to be 20. Make sure we are answering our question. So if x is 20, that is our first angle. We define the first angle to be 20. So our first angle we would say is, hey, I didn't even know that. That's good. I feel good about myself right now. Yeah, so it ends up being 20 degrees, right? So Cam's already done the math in his head without even having this expression. And he said that would have to be 70 degrees. All right, you plug your 20 in, double that, and then we would still have 30 more on top of that. So it'd be 70 degrees, all right? And buy a lottery ticket tonight, I think. Maybe, maybe I will. That's right. If I am, you won't be seeing me again tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, no kidding. All right, so number two. That's sort of what we're doing with most of these. And we're still dealing with supplementary. If you look at all these problems, we're talking complementary and supplementary. So that's always two. So almost all of these, we're probably going to set up the idea we have a first angle, we have a second angle. How can we then use our words to put all that together? So for example, number two now, um, we see this word. So if we don't know what that meant, look at what we wrote up above. The word difference between an angle and its supplement is 60 degrees. So between the first angle and then that second supplementary angle, that difference is 60. What I'm asking for only in this case, and this is important, like we just talked about in that exit quiz, make sure you answer the question. So when it's multiple choice, you're picking the right one. Supplementary angles mean we have two angles. We don't know either one of them. I could, if I just want to be clever, put X right here. But it, intuitively, it kind of just makes the most sense to put X first as your first angles. Okay. So do that. Put X for the first one. And then now translate this. The difference between the angle we just defined and that second supplementary angle is 60. Okay. Anybody? How can we write that now? Oh, yeah, I can. Good. So now whatever that first angle is, we want to subtract 60 from it. All right, difference implies subtraction. So take, if I had now 100 bucks, if I do 100 minus 60, that would tell us you now have 40. Then we have this idea, and they're supplementary, so that now we know you're going to add those up. And when we add those two expressions up, supplementary means they equal 180. Thank you. Twice today, you're right. You caught me. All right, then we solve that. So combine our like terms. So add your 60 over. Divide and then identify if that's the answer to the question. So figure out what x is and then make a decision on whether or not if I give you multiple choice, 
exit quiz today, if I threw that out there in the next 10 minutes, is that the answer to the question or do we need to do a little more work? All right, so hopefully, I think most of us having seen all these homeworks now doing all these, we're pretty good with these in terms of solving that equation. So we're gonna get X equals 120. Is that then the answer to this question? Is that our smallest angle that we're talking about over here? No, because this is our X, right? So our first angle is at 120. So if my X is 120, my smaller angles going to be gotten from right here. So I do 120 minus 60. The 60 degree angle would be the answer to our question. Do notice though, right? Isn't 120 and 60, don't they add up to be the 180 like they're supposed to? The difference is 60. So we satisfied everything in that little word problem for us to make this work, okay? All right, number three. There's not a lot of these, you see. There's only five. So I'm going to give you uh, two minutes. Uh, figure out number three. See what you think. See if we can set that up. Read through the problem. Pick out some of those keywords. Then make sure you answer the question. We're looking for the largest or the larger of those two angles. So once you think you have them defined, see if you can then set up your equation based upon some other vocab that's in that sentence. I am pretty confident once we have our equation, I've seen enough of the homeworks and such that we can solve the equations. When you have that solution, identify is that the actual answer to the question? And yes, this one's probably a, maybe a little bit harder than the previous couple. So don't freak out if you're a little confused. All right, we got about 10 seconds and our two minutes is up and we'll see where we're at. All right. The whole first angle, since we don't know either one of them, one we have to base off of X. So we don't know that one. So let's just keep marking that as the first. All right, anybody think they have a way to define that second one? Here's how we're defining the second one here, the sentence. One angle exceeds three times the complement, which is basically the other angle by 18. So it's going to exceed three times its complement by 18 more. All right, this time you got it, Cam. Yeah. What do you got? Yeah, sure. X plus. Oh, give me this first, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. The expression. Yeah. Good. So check and make sure we have this correct. And Cam said this is like the first one. And he's correct, where we are going to be bigger than three times the original angle. So we did three times the original angle. And then we're still going to be bigger than that by 18. So that's where he gets this 3x plus 18 from. Okay. All right. The next part, I think we're good with. What did you do next, Cam? Good. So we see that those are complementary to each other. So we're going to add them, set them equal to 90. That's your equation. So we should have ended up with 4x's plus an 18 equals 90. And what, Cam, what do we do? Good. That should give us what? 
72. Last step, divide. What'd you get? Good. So Cam gets x2 equal 18. Now make sure we're answering this question. Is the 18, which is right here, that's the first angle, is that going to end up being our largest angle? No, definitely not. So we now need to take the x, plug it in right here. So we're going to do 3 times 18 plus an additional 18. What's our final answer, Cam? Good. 70, that's not a 2. 72 degrees is our final answer. All right, good. All right, number four. Set that one up real quick. Give you one minute. Hopefully these are all kind of similar. Set those up. Set that one up. Yeah, I was just looking at that myself. I think I might have messed this up. I'm going to change gears. Go to number five first. Go to number five. Set up number five. I got to assess something real quick with number four. No, same exact thing. Did I? Is that what they wanted with this? I don't know if we really want to be doing this with these guys. Um, let's go back to four. Sorry. And you're going to change one of these words. That's what I was kind of seeing, if this is what I really wanted us to tackle. So cross this out, and let's do this as a complement so we don't make this too crazy. So make this our complement. And then set that up. He might. Decimals are okay. I wouldn't freak out about that by any means. Yeah. All right. So let's set this up. First angle. Again, we don't know either. Let's put the X for the first one, even though we could if we wanted to put it for the second one. And then we're going to go with 60 less than 3 times the measure of that first complementary angle. So 60 less than 3 times the measure. So similar, hopefully, you're understanding similar to number 1, similar to number 3. All right, anybody got that? All right, go ahead, Cam. What do you got? Uh, 
Just, yeah, give me the expression first. Good. 3x and then minus 60. So we want three times the measure of that complementary angle, but it's still going to be 60 less than that product. So once we identify what's three times that, we still want 60 less. Since we're looking for complements, we're going to add those. Set that equal to our 90 degrees. And then we just work our way through solving that. All right, combine the like terms. Add that 60 over, so we get 150. Divide by 4. That's what Cam was asking about. You don't like the fractions. Um, but if we did that, we should get 150 divided by 4, what, 37.5. And then our complementary angle, I can do that myself, just make sure, yeah, 52.5. is 72.5 all right and then that's the guy that we want all right okay um with that because we got like three minutes here's going to be your homework so let me explain kind of what this is all right so this should be interesting we'll see how this goes so on the very next page is going to be your homework and what you're going to see is a whole bunch of these little word problems all right so as you're just going to go through them you're certainly going to be testing on all these vocab supplementary exceeds complementary same thing that we just did here a little bit ago all right you're going to go through these and then as you're doing it you're just going to basically be setting these up so you see a lot of two and three word slash numerical answers because these are all going to be your angles if you do it right so this is a nice little check it's like any other crossword puzzle. If you're doing all of these right, as you start filling all of these in, they should all match up. If they don't match up, then that's indicating one of the two. So like if one across and one down don't give you the same numerical value to start with, then you know something's wrong. All right, so it's a little guide, it's a little way, it's a little different way of doing the assignment, but it will help you then sort of check and see if we're, we're doing these correctly or not, okay? So this will be the homework for tomorrow night. I wouldn't be surprised if there is a question or two. So if you have any questions tomorrow at the beginning of class, feel free to speak up, ask those questions, and then just make sure that it's uploaded onto Canvas by midnight tomorrow night. Okay? <laughs> You'll do your best. Okay? But some of them are a little tricky. Um, some of them are very straightforward. Like number one, you better be able to do number one. Those are nice. Okay. Um, actually, let's do one. Jump to number four real quick. Because number four, actually, I would anticipate a little bit of an issue. And it's really common. And we didn't give you one of these on the first page. So go to number four. It says two angles are supplementary. Their difference is 106. Never mind. You can do that one. That's not what I was thinking it was. I think we're good. I'm, I'm more concerned about when we get to these fractions. People tend to freak out about fractions and think they're harder than they need to be. Um, but again, if you have any questions, we'll have a minute or two at the beginning of class to ask those questions tomorrow. Again, quiz retake. If you're planning to take that, you're going to get out of this meet. You're going to find me or Mr. Kubowitz next period, and he'll unlock it. Make sure that you're all squared away. If you have any last questions, ask us before you take it. Don't just pop in there and kind of have the same issues that maybe we had on that first quiz. Try to get squared away if there's some problems on there that you don't know how to do. Okay? Okay. Uh, we're about done here, so have a good day. All right? Any issues, stick around. You have a minute to ask. If not, we will see you tomorrow. Okay? Have a good day. It's interesting, yeah. It would be challenging. But when you break it into smaller parts, you'll be all right. I promise. Now you have, right? I can't find my camera now. Stop recording.
Let's do this. There we go. Uh, 